All right, so here's example three. This is a little bit of a trickier problem because it's given us a third term and the sixth term, and we've got to find the fifth term. It doesn't tell us the first term. doesn't tell us the common ratio. We have to figure all that out on our own. And so what we have here is a uh, system of equations that we're going to use. We know a sub 3 is 75 over 16. We know a sub 6 is 9375 over 1024. And what we need to do is we need to find a sub 1, which we don't know. We need to find r, which we don't know. And really, we need to ultimately find a sub 5, which we don't know. Well, the best thing to do is to put these two terms into our general nth term formula, r to the n minus 1, like so. And if we do that, we should be able to find a sub 1 and r using systems of equations. So let's first do a sub 3. So we're going to say 75 over 16 equals, um, we don't know a sub 1, we don't know r, but we know that since n is 3, we know it's r squared. We also know the sixth term, which is 9375 over 1024. We don't know a sub 1. We don't know r, but since n is 6, we know that's 5. Now, I should have probably rewritten these, and in fact, I'm going to take this equation and put it below the other one. 75 over 16 equals a sub 1 times r squared. The reason I'm going to do that is because when we have a system of equations like this, we need to solve for a1 or r, we're going to divide these two equations, okay? And the reason we do that, I'm just going to cancel that out, is here, what's a1 divided by a1? Well, those a sub 1's cancel out. The other nice thing is we have r to the fifth over r cubed, or r squared, which turns into r cubed, because when you divide, you subtract exponents. The tricky part is taking this fraction and dividing by this fraction. Remember to divide fractions, you multiply by the reciprocals. I've already done this on my calculator. If you want to, you can check it out. 9375 over 1024 times 16 over 75, and that gives me 125 over 64. Now to find r, we're just going to go ahead and take the cube root of both sides, and we get 5 over 4. Well, that's good. That tells us that the r value is 5 fourths. Now what we're going to do is we're going to plug it back into one of our equations and see if we can figure out a sub 1. I'm going to choose this equation right here. 75 over 16 equals a sub 1 times 5 fourths to the second power. Now I know 5 fourths squared is going to be oops, uh, 25 sixteenths. If I want to get rid of the 25 sixteenths, I'm going to multiply by 16 25ths on both sides. And that cancels the 16s there. And I have 17 over 25, which is 3. So my first term is 3. Now that's good because I have the r and I have the a sub 1. And so what I can do is I can take it and plug it into our formula and say a sub n equals 3 times 5 fourths to the n minus 1. Well, my ultimate goal is to find the fifth term, so I'm going to say a sub 5 equals 3 times 5 fourths. Since n is 5, I know that's going to be 4. If I plug that all into my calculator, I get uh, a sub 5 equals 1875 over 256. And right there is my fifth term. Now that's a pretty tricky problem. There's a couple steps. We've got to find some different variables and whatnot. But for the most part, it's doable, and I think you guys can all handle it. So good luck.